All right. Not going to waste any time today. Pokemon Go Elite Trainer Box. We're getting into it. <laughs> this might be my last Pokemon video for a little bit. Uh, I have been kind of going a little hard on it. Probably should get back to some other content. But I enjoy making these videos and you guys seem to enjoy watching them. So I'm fine with still doing these. I love them. I love them so much. And I didn't cut anything there. So that's great too. Uh, we'll just get the stupid cellophane off. Again, I am not recommending you do it the way that I just did it. But hey. Uh, if we look at the back here, probably should do that. Um, text that we're not going to bother reading right now. You can pause the video to do that. You can see we're in for a treat. I'm not going to go super hard into looking at that stuff right now. Because I just want to get to the packs. We'll take a look at all the promo stuff, don't you worry. Um, but I just, I have been hankering for Pokemon opening. So... <laughs> Super excited. If you guys are too, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And also tell me what you think of the uh, the new backdrop. Uh, I'm still working on it, but, uh, you know, it's something other than wall. So I I think it's 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 good for now. Um, but yeah, we got these. Just slide this on out. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, it looks like this one has actual art on the inside. Okay, great. So this one comes with this little player's guide. Uh, just um, something else there. Uh and just, it goes over, like, some of the cards in the set, which I'm not going to look at right now, because obviously I want to get into the packs. Um, looks like there is uh, some sort of thing here uh, for Pokemon Go, because these are Pokemon Go packs. I don't know what to really expect with these. Um, it looks like there are some good things that we can get just from reading the back of the box. But um, on the other side, okay, um, so we have some codes here. So what I'm going to do is first half of the video, I'm going to do this. So there's a couple digits missing there. You can figure out which ones are. And then on the other, uh, the end of the video, I'll reveal the other side of the paper. So you have that to look forward to. In the meantime, I am going to put this somewhere that I will 100% remember to do that. Um, <laughs> uh, just give me a second here. All right, just figured I'd go ahead and record the other part of the code now so I wouldn't have to uh, remember to do that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the artwork in here. I know I said I'd get right into the uh, the packs, but <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, just since this stuff is on the out, uh, you can see it looks like just kind of screenshots from the game. Uh, I, there used to be a way to like separate it, but it doesn't look like there is without ripping it. So I'll just take a look at that later, see if I can do that. Silly me, almost forgot to look at the inside of the uh, box art. Here you go. Uh, yeah, nice. Really cool. Um, yeah, I, I like it when they do stuff like this. Uh, but yeah, that that's what that looks like. Fortunately, got a little peeled off at the end there because they stick it with glue. But yeah, pretty cool. Like it. Nice. I know what we're all here for, right? We're not here for any of that crap. We're here for the packs. Ten crisp, clean Pokemon Go packs. Oh, it looks like it's just this art. So that's good. Uh, all right. So we'll open uh, five now. And then on the... Other end, we'll look, open five, then we'll look at the stuff in the box. So what I want to do is I just want to mix these up, just so in case there's any sort of seeding shenanigans, get clear of that. All right, so that looks like five right there, so we'll do five and five. All right, pack number one. Uh, I have no idea what to expect with these. Um, I did read a couple of the cards that could be in here, but I've not seen any of the actual art yet um i also don't really know what's going on so it looks like <laughs> we'll go this way um i have not improved my pack opening skills as you can see but i there we go okay oh they're they're branded okay so it looks like all the cards in this set do have special pokemon go branding so that actually could uh, increase their price a slight bit comparatively. Um, but, you know, we'll have just have to see. All right, here is code. We'll get rid of that. Um, I, this feels like slightly less cards. I'll do three to the front. I'm hoping this isn't our rare. Let's find out. Uh, okay, rare candy. So <laughs> it's not our rare, I hope. Uh, okay, so that, that looks different. Uh, Zatu... Steelix, Larvitar, Natu, 
Ambi Palm. Okay. These are cool too because we're actually getting uh, ones that we haven't really seen in a little while. Bee Barrel. All right, here's our Zatu. So our rare is on the end here. And <gasps> V first pack. Love to see it. Oh, that looks cool too. Dragonite V. Looks like this is a rare, nothing super crazy here. And we do have an energy on the end to get rid of. That's good to know. But yeah, wow, rare first pack. Love to see it. Oh, man, that's great. Oh, wow, okay. So these packs actually do have some good things in them. Love to see that. I was worried that it would be kind of crappy because it's like based off of the mobile game and not... You know, just kind of there to as like a little marketing ploy. So just go ahead and get these out. Here is code. Uh, we'll go. Nope, the, <laughs> doing it the wrong way, aren't I? Okay, one, two, three. Getting rid of the energy card. Yep, there we go. All right, uh, camera up. This must, I think they might also have some items that are from the game, because I have no idea what the hell that is. Uh, Unpheasant, Bidoof, Onyx, Bee Barrel. Well, see, this is a, this is an interesting card that, uh, that was that Smeargle actually takes up the full uh, space of that. Meltan, Magikarp, uh, Apom, and, ooh, a nice little hollow Articuno there. Not really that great, but it is technically a hit, so... I can't complain, I guess. We are technically two for two right now, so that's nice. But I put hollows and reverse hollows in the same category for me because I know that hollows are reverse hollows are guaranteed every pack, but they're just not super exciting uh, comparative to, say, a nice V or something. I did see that one of the Radiance is a oh crap well <laughs> you get the full code there um i did see one of the radiance uh there are radiance in the set i did see one of them is a charizard uh i have not actually um seen the art for it but i am very much excited at the possibility of getting a radiant charizard uh candela ivy soar whoa that's a lot of hell for a second evolution uh spark numeral uh bulbasaur onyx B barrel, I think our reverse hollow should be coming up pretty soon. Spinner rack. I think our uh uh radiance would be in the reverse hollow slot. And oh, I thought it was something. Uh mm, what the hell? <laughs> How the hell do you say that name? Mel Metal, I guess. Okay. Cool. Alright, and then crappy energy on the end to finish this off there. Uh, you know, we got a V. I can't complain about that. I, I can't complain at the fact that I almost killed myself with those scissors. That's something that I can do. All right. All right. We're getting quicker with it. We're getting quicker with it. All right. Code. Uh, there. Code. <laughs> Guess some of the digits on that one so that we won't. Oh, is that? Oh, I thought I saw a crease there. I would have been a wee bit upset because that usually happens with every card in the pack. Okay. Okay. And we have a, a Slowbro. I should probably hold it up here and not where you can't see it. Pupitar, P Dove, P, uh, P, P, P Dove, Squirtle, Squirtin. He what? What's he squirting? Onyx. Uh, ooh, Gyarados. That's a cool little Gyarados there. And uh, <laughs> I've only opened four packs and I've already gotten a double rare. Love that so much. So I'm wondering because it. I have not gotten a blank card yet, from what I can tell. I'm wondering if it's a guaranteed hollow per pack. That would be kind of cool, but at the same time, it also makes hollows a little less special. All right, so one more pack left, and then we take a look at the promo and uh, the other stuff cooking in this box. We're doing all right, you know, unless, of course, those are guaranteed, because otherwise we are doing absolutely garbage uh let's see code card and one two three to the front 
We will see what we have going for us here. Move that out of the way. All right. Slowbro, Candela, Pupitar, Wimpod, Larvitar. A lot of Tars in here. Bulbasaur, Onyx, I think our reverse is coming up. It's a Zadu, not a Radiant. You suck. And, oh, Tyranitar. I thought it was something for a half second. Man, okay. Yeah, these have to be guaranteed every pack. There's no way. There's no way these aren't guaranteed every pack. I mean, it's cool art. I'll give it that. It is nice art. A little disappointing, but, you know. Uh, fine, I guess. All right, so that is our five packs out of the way. With really only one hit. Not super great. I, you know, last video I had insane luck. I mean, that, 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 um, that pack I got, that was, that was not anything remotely close to what I was expecting. Um, okay, so here's our... Promo card, nice little Mewtwo V. I'll get it out of the pack so we can actually take a closer look at it. It's actually textured, it looks like. Kind of odd. They don't usually go textured for promos. All right, got to be careful to not bend the card here. Uh, I hate these little things. All right, there we go. That should be enough to free him. Yeah. Yeah, it's textured. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's cool. Um, so this is Sword and Shield uh, promo number 229. Very cool one at that. Look at that. Look at that. Man, why can't they put like a piece of cardboard or something to keep these promos from bending? That's awful. It's really cool Mewtwo art. Like, I'm not going to say it's not, but like, I, I hate that they do that. Oh, great. One of my set pieces fell. I hate that they don't, like, protect it more. It's a little bit of a shame. Um, we have the code card for the box, which you will not be getting the full thing of because I want to make sure that people actually have a chance of getting it. So there you go. Code card for box. Guess, I think, three digits there. Got some absolutely bent-to-crap deck sleeves. I... I I swear, how hard would it be to put, like, a little cardboard piece there to keep them from bending? That's just awful. Cool art, but, like, man, silver on the inside. Uh, then we have our standard little deck of energies there. Nothing to really look at. Uh, with that, and, uh, deck dividers with uh, cool double-sided art. Then we have more crap in here. So we've got a uh, acrylic V-Star logo thing here. Um, pretty cool acrylic damage counters and the die. That's actually like a like a hollow blue die. I don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but yeah, that's fine. Go oh, it says Go on it because it's the Pokemon Go dice. Honestly, I haven't really seen anything that screamed Pokemon Go otherwise, but we'll just throw all that in there because it is all crap and we do not care about it. Five more packs left. We still have chances for hits. You know, I'm, this is about what I would expect from an English box. Honestly, that last box I got, got was absolutely stacked. But, you know, we still have five chances. I don't know if we're going to walk away with absolutely nothing after five chances, so... I'm hoping we get something. I don't know if we're getting anything on this pack, but, you know, we'll always take a look and see. Okay. Rare Candy, Wordle, Pokey Stop. That's definitely Pokemon Go related, and I think I just bent it by accident. Uh, Meltan, nice little 3D model of Eevee there. Pikachu, Squirtle, B-Barrel, Magikarp, and... Oh! And uh, it, it, this is the only Pikachu that I've seen that's actually special, or really the only card that I've seen is special, and a energy on the end there. Um, okay, so, I mean, that's cool art, but, like, I, I mean, it, it. it's fine, you know? It's, <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's okay. Um, I don't know if any of this art is, like, super exclusive. I mean, that one obviously was, but, you know... Kind of tanking it here, I'm not going to lie to you folks. I mean, because at this point, I have to believe that that hollow is guaranteed on uh, every pack. I, I can't assume it's not peeled off really nice. 
Okay. Code card. Throw that crap out of here. We go one, we go two, we go three, and we turn it around and see that we have a Lunatone. I hate these cards so much because like every time you get one of these Sun or Moon Pokemons, they're always pictured next to the thing that they're supposed to be. Oh, it just really bothered me. Lunatone, Slowbro, Zatu, A Palm, Charmander, Eevee, Slowpoke, Onyx, and a Gyarados, and a Moltres on the end. I am absolutely crapping the bed right now. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Only one hit so far. And we only have. Three packs left. I am going to hope and pray that we actually get something. We'll shuffle it one more time there. Hopefully that brings us additional luck. I'll also move this back so you can see the packs. I'm not tampering with them, as you can tell, because these packs are absolute doo-doo crap. These are absolutely terrible. All right, Slowpoke is our first Pokemon that we see there. Um... Code with cute card. And I'm thinking that we got nothing, because looking at all these codes at the bottom of the floor, it just fell. It's white. So I think we're hoping for green. Unless, of course, like I said, that's not guaranteed every time, but I'm thinking it is. So, oh boy. Wow, these have just absolutely just terrible, terrible hit rates. I right, move those out of the way. Blanche, Slowbro, Candela, Slowpoke, Onyx. I've seen like the same cards every time too. Eevee. Wow. I just got the absolute worst box on the shelf, didn't I? Man. Absolutely awful. Awful packs. I probably should have looked up the hit ratios, but it was the only pa it was the only booster box they had. So I was like, yeah, I'll get that. Sure. Maybe I should have considered why it was the only booster box they had. <laughs> okay, let's go in here. These things have absolutely terrible pull rates. That's the thing when sometimes when they have like guaranteed pulls like that, they they decrease the rates of other pulls a lot more. All right, Chansey, Lunatone, Slowbro, Onyx, Eevee, Numo, Alolan Raticate. I don't know what that's doing in there. A, a Reverse Hollow Trainer and a... <laughs> you have got to be kidding. You have got to be kidding. There, This is a joke. This is a very cruel, unfunny, I am not laughing joke. I swear, if I only get one hit out of a... 10 pack box. I am going to be very angry. I'm already angry, but I'll be less angry if I get another hit because this is absolute crap. Couldn't have at least gotten it on the end. And the hit that I got was a V, too. It's not. Oh, well. See, this is the thing about Pokemon, right? Like, you never know. Sometimes you'll get an absolutely just god tier box like we got last time, and otherwise you're going to get crap. You know? So we'll see. Code card. Not really expecting much, but maybe, just maybe, we'll get a hit. We'll see. Egg Incubator, Ivysaur, Blan Blanche, Pikachu, Wimpod, Pie Dove, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, a oh, Hollow Blast Toys. That's nice to get. And <gasps> oh, finally a hit. Oh my goodness gracious me. 71 out of 78. It's an Alolan Executor V. It looks like this might be a special version because I don't think Vs are normally full art like that. But wow, oh wow, we actually got a hit at the end. Oh my goodness, thank you. Okay, let's get this stuff cleared out of the way here. So... I mean, it's textured. I mean, because, like, take a look here. We got, got this V, and we have this one. So I feel like there has to be something special about uh, the Alolan Executor, because this this definitely does not look the same as this. This this looks like a nice full art. So that's fun. 
Um, yeah, really cool card there. I don't know if I would have necessarily wanted to get eight dud packs because of it, but, you know, it's fine. All right, and here's the other part of the codes that I mentioned. So, yeah, there you go. Let's take a look at the book here, see what we could have gotten. Uh, looks like, yeah, it looks like our, um, our Alolan Executor there is some sort of special V. There are some cool Vs in here. Like, we've got, yeah, look at that. Oh, there's rainbow cards in here, too. Mmm. Oh, gold cards as well. So this is a... So I think I think the U means it's an ultra rare, because yeah, if I yeah if you look at the Dragonite, that's a normal rare. So the the thing that I got was a uh, was a ultra rare. So that's cool. Doesn't really look like a. Wow! No wonder this set is crap. There's like nothing in here. Like yeah, here's the normal Alolan Executor. So we did get the special version, but. We got Radiance in here, too. I mean, so there's a couple Radiance. There's that nice little Radiant Charizard. I would have loved to have gotten that, but, you know. Yeah, this is not a good set. I honestly would not recommend you buying this, because, like, the, the the thing about it is, is there's so few rares, and because it's guaranteed hollow every time, you're just not going to get pulls that often. I'd say if there's any cards in here that you like, I'd honestly just buy them secondhand. Because, I mean, the, these are just going to be incredibly difficult to pull anything that you want. But, um, yeah, we did get a couple cards there at the end, though. Um, and here is our stack of hollows and reverse hollows. Uh, so we got quite a few there. Um, but nothing crazy. Uh, but this is not bad. This is not a bad pull from a box. I just, I don't know that I would ever get this set again, personally um but yeah pretty good i'm happy with it <laughs> yeah, i'm happy that we got an ultra rare that's nice we got a nice ultra rare i'm happy with that i'll take it so if you guys did like this video um i hope you did leave a like comment subscribe and let me know what you think of the new background you know i'm this is uh still a very much a work in progress uh backdrop i'm, I'm gonna be adding stuff to it but um yeah I, i'm i'm happy with it for now so Hope you guys are too. Um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.